Hey what's up guys, The Explanation Bro is here. Today, I'll explain an action sci-fi film titled Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Spoilers incoming. The film opens with an eerie background music, leaves swaying slowly displaying a manner into the picture. Lights on as the night gets dark. A man appears holding and rolling a short piece of rope on his fingers, but it is interrupted when a man shouts and all the lights go out, making his surrounding deep black. A woman's voice echoes into the room, asking with tremble and fear in his voice if he is still there. He calls her his love. He gives her the thing he was rolling on his fingers. Francis takes what he gives. He then asks her about the doctor's findings with fear still evident in her voice. She tells him that the doctor said her powers are too firm, now tears strolling in her cheeks as she proceeds. She says that they will take her away from him and take her to a place where people like her. Hearing this, Cletus trembles in anger, greets his teeth as his one bright light will be taken from him. Two men come to Frances. She proclaims her love for him as she is being taken away. Cletus comes to the window, pounding it, hoping to break it. An old man in a suit watches Frances as she struggles in the hold of men holding her. Cletus continues to pound on the window and calls her name. Frances gets taken inside a police vehicle, and he desperately watches it leave the place. Frances looks at the officer in front of her inside the caravan, and the name displayed on his uniform. She asks him with danger in her eyes if he has any last word. B. Mulligan, the officer, looks at her, confused. Still, Francis screams before he can say anything, her voice roaring and echoing inside the vehicle. In a flash, the vehicle shifts to the officer's side. Officer Mulligan struggles and pulls out his revolver. Officer Mulligan shoots Francis out of the car, regaining control of the firearm and escaping. In disbelief at what happened, he stares at her, his ears ringing. In the next scene, Precious is lying on the bed, bandages around her left eye. She wakes up, looking at herself. A voice of a woman interrupts her, welcoming her to her new home, Ravencroft. Francis reads the paper. It shows Cletus' photo with the prospect of death. Finally, the woman in the lab coat tells Francis that her partner gets what he deserves and that the world will be a better place after that. As Francis plays the ring of strings supplied by Cletus, she merely glances at her. When Detective Mulligan turns away from Eddie, Venom emerges from Eddie's body, posing a threat to Detective Mulligan. Still, Eddie enters the WC first. In the woman's restroom, Eddie and Venom dispute about the case. Detective Mulligan listening in, a woman standing nearby is puzzled by the sound of two voices bickering. She glances down the booth and only sees Eddie's sneakers. Eddie walks out of the bathroom, his body tense, and says to Detective Mulligan that he accepts the Cletus Cassidy case. The same day, Eddie meets Cletus. Eddie asks Cletus why, but Cletus does not give him a direct answer, and instead asks him a favor. Cletus asks to deliver a message to his fans, and in return, Eddie could be on top of his field again as Cletus will reveal all his secrets, his life story. Cletus' story is known and famous as he is a serial killer. Detective Mulligan asks Eddie about Cletus, but the latter says Cletus only gave him poetry and needs more time. The detective urges Eddie to tell him as soon as he gets something out of Cletus' case. Later that day, Venom tells Eddie to grab the pants and take over his body. Venom draws a sequence of symbols and figures that Eddie doesn't understand. Venom sketches twice more before telling Eddie to watch. Venom retakes his body, utilizing its own, but this time, it's rocks and rivers. It draws something on the computer, and Eddie sees what Venom drew. Following that, policemen, bodies in a body bag, and Eddie is where Cletus hid the people he killed. A reporter asks Eddie if he has some sort of relationship with Cletus. Eddie is the only one who can talk to Cletus and has discovered the mystery for years that the FBI could not solve. Eddie denies it, saying that he could not see Cletus liking anyone as he is a serial killer. Detective Mulligan is angry as soon as he read the newspaper. The same goes with Francis and Cletus. The governor of California has instated the death penalty for Cletus because of public outrage. And Eddie Brock is on top once again. To add, Eddie is the center of the news because of his diligence, justice, and vindicate for his victims and their family who was served. In Eddie's apartment, Venom argues with him that he could beat bad guys, that he wants to be free and cannot live inside of him anymore. The two discuss as Venom is starving, and Eddie still wants to be on top and will continue to use the Cletus Cassidy case. Mrs. Chen greets Eddie and Venom as they enter a convenience store to purchase Venom's food. Sadly, there is still no chocolate available. Eddie, Venom, and Mrs. Chen fight over a deal. Eddie then chooses option two. Eddie refuses to give Venom a human brain and instead consumes a chicken's brain. The same night, Venom sees a woman in need of help. It steps in the middle of the woman and grabs the bad guy, turns him upside down as he tries to eat his head. Eddie convinces Venom to let go of the guy after a few tries. Then Eddie's phone rings as they are jumping off of buildings. It is Anne, asking if they could meet up tomorrow at 8. Eddie says yes. Eddie and Anne meet the next day. Eddie tightly hugs Anne and then there is an uneasy quiet. Eddie breaks the ice by asking how she is. Anne places her left hand on the table, revealing an engagement ring. 
Anne waits for Eddie to congratulate her. Anne notices Eddie acting odd and wonders if Venom is with him. Eddie says Venom is dead. Eddie exits after a brief exchange of words. Driving his motorcycle, Eddie is lost and drunk with emotion and thoughts. He drives recklessly going out of his lane and meeting vehicles in front of him. They stop at the site and Venom talks to him, comforting and assuring him. The following day, Venom makes a mess while making breakfast for Eddie. Venom reads Eddie's email and notices a letter. On the day they stop his heart, Cletus invites him. Scenes from Cletus's upbringing describe his arrival at St. Estes, a home for abandoned children. It was hard living in the house until Cletus met Francis. Afterward, Eddie goes into prison, visiting Cletus. He sees him eating comfortably in his cell. Then Eddie asks Cletus for some pointers and put his phone recorder in between the cell bar. Cletus laughs at him but continues to talk. Cletus tells Eddie how they are the same and how he thinks Eddie feels close to him. They are the same and how he thinks Eddie feels like a family to him. Eddie mocks him by stating how he killed his grandmother and mother. Cletus in return mocks Eddie below the belt, involving his mother, father, and Anne. This triggers Venom to attack, and Cletus bites Eddie's arm, tasting Venom's blood. With astonishment, Cletus declares Eddie Brock has a secret. Eddie screams at Venom in his flat. Venom apologizes, but Eddie keeps talking. He tells Venom that they couldn't get Cletus's last statements due to the cell incident. This causes a heated debate. They began hurling items at one another's bodies. After minutes of hurting, Venom leaves and lands on another victim. Venom wrecks Eddie's bike before departing. Cletus is tied to a bed in the next scene as the two guys inside with him say his sentence in front of people. He says enjoy the show as his last words, and then he is injected. But before he permanently closes his eyes, Venom's blood fights the poison and creates chaos. Cletus transforms into Venom, mercilessly killing every person that he sees. He creates a tornado inside the prison and then breaks the wall. Cletus transforms back into his human form and walks out of jail, singing as if nothing happened. To show sequence, after his fight with Venom, Eddie cleans up all the mess they created. Then he sees on TV that Cletus has escaped prison. Detective Mulligan enters the room after knocking on the door. Mulligan then asks Eddie about his recent encounter with Cletus, accusing him of being involved. Mulligan advised him to lay low as he is the man that made Cletus nearly executed. Knowing this, Eddie starts to think about how to find Cletus before Cletus finds him. He listens to a recorded conversation, looks at the letter and drawings related to Cletus. Following this, Venom also went to another human body at a party. It transfers into another, letting his figure become the center of attention. At the same time, Cletus walks on the street freely. A car catches his attention, and without further ado, he robs it. Cletus and Carnage then makes a deal. Subsequently, Venom is still at the party, getting praises and compliments from people. Venom stops up front and makes a speech about how free he is. Meanwhile, Eddie walks to St. Estes and sees a tree carved with CK loves FB. He tells Mulligan to locate a connection which he does, Francis Barrison. Eddie asks Mulligan about her, and he says he can't since he shot Frances. Cletus then finds Frances and sees that she has been sent to Ravencroft. The psychiatrist goes to Frances' cell and informs her about Cletus. She mocks Frances that Cletus will never discover her, and Cletus strangles her to death. Cletus frees Frances from her imprisonment and introduces Carnage to her. The pair leaves Ravencroft. Police cars are on their way. They let the cars pursue them, but Carnage decides to smash it all. Police cars cover the helicopters that shoot Carnage, then Francis makes a colossal mistake, exposing Carnage to danger. Detective Mulligan and the other officers search for Cletus. Instead, they find Francis's name inside a cell. Mulligan then asks Eddie about Cletus and the incident that involved him since he got Venom. Eddie tells Mulligan that he will give answers anymore without a phone call. Eddie calls Anne and tells her that Carnage is inside of Cletus and that he will kill everyone. Eddie asks Anne to find Venom, and she does. Anne goes to Mrs. Chen's store and finds Venom inside of her. Anne informs Venom about the situation, but Venom does not want to go back to Eddie. Anne convinces him with a little flirting. Cletus and Francis laugh as they burn the cathedral. Carnage and the couple make a deal to find and hurt the people they hate, Eddie, Mulligan, and Venom. Anne returns to Eddie and uses Venom to escape the prison. Eddie tries to resurrect Venom inside him, but Venom demands he apologize. Eddie tries several words to bring back Venom, but only one works. Venom, make me special. Cletus finds Mulligan on the street. Francis hurts Anne and let Dan carry the message to Eddie. Eddie goes into the church where Mulligan and Anne are hosted by Carnage. Seeing Carnage, Venom gets scared, but Eddie promises him that he can have human brains. All of it, and Venom goes out again. Carnage injures Francis as well. Carnage and Venom fight. Venom leading for a while but subsequently trapped by Carnage. Francis follows Mulligan, but she is endangered by Carnage. Dan puts Carnage into fire and Carnage goes after him, nearly beheading him. But Venom in the bell ringing stops it. Carnage and Venom continues to fight, but Carnage is much stronger. Carnage then takes Anne to the top and strangles Frances, making Cletus angry. Seeing the discoordination with Carnage and Cletus, Venom gets up and stabs Carnage. This enrages Carnage more, 
and he slowly destroys Venom. But before he does, Venom makes sure Anne is safe with Dan. Venom sees Frances and lets her fall down to create a sound, making him and Carnage weep. Venom then eats Carnage and Cletus, Mulligan still alive, his eye colors to Frances, confused. Eddie and Venom run away as they are wanted by the police. The movie ends with Eddie and Venom on a beach, figuring out where they will go. Don't forget to watch the post credit scene guys! Thank you so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video!